all right what is good youtube welcome back to a new video as you guys are watching this depending on where you're at in the world season three for modern warfare 2 and warzone 2 might already be out so i really hope this update is good and this is just going to be my final kind of update video before we actually get into the season three content so as you guys can see on your screen right here today we did get some patch notes over uh some warzone changes and they look really 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 promising so as you guys can see the four kind of bullet points there are pacing combat movement and more so overall we're going to uh kind of just glance over this but this is a massive massive uh w um i wish that we would get some of these kind of changes to mono warfare 2 just in uh kind of the aspect of like daddy and uh definitely obviously red dots on the mini map maybe a little bit higher time to kill but nonetheless glad to see this on the warzone front so let's just jump into this guys so taking a look right here pacing requires the review and consideration of a number of variables spanning time to kill weapon damage armor values movement mechanics defensive tools outplay opportunities and much more it's vital therefore that the adjustments we make to these elements are evaluated carefully not just in isolation but also the impact they have across the entire br experience with these findings and player feedback top of mind what well, might be a little cap but let's proceed season three brings an array of updates below is just a snapshot of the many changes this coming season uh pacing improvements to the core pacing of br includes a reduced delay time between circles closing towards the mid game the addition of more ammo caches and buy stations and areas to support regame in the late game which is a w i think there's at least on a Sheikah, i can't speak for El Mazra because i haven't played El Mazra, um since it's pretty much got released but definitely towards like the last couple circles on a Sheikah, it seems like there's like no buys i think there's like a good good amount of buys like towards the early game but it seems like mid to late game all the buys are kind of gone so uh hopefully this this applies to a Sheikah. i'm not sure if this is just br but uh, definitely love to see that um so yeah and buy stations and areas to support regame uh as well as the inclusion of uav towers to provide intel and encourage more combat engagement opportunities so if you guys watch my season three um video that we did yesterday we did kind of cover the uav tower so um i think that's uh that's pretty exciting i'm um, moving on to uh the two the two big ones in my opinion combat uh, players can expect to see changes to combat engagements including reduced intensity of damage feedback on the HUD to better improve combat visibility, reduced high damage weapon outliers to make combat feel more consistent. So I don't know if that's like directly um, kind of changing the time to kill or uh, maybe some of the attachments, uh, maybe just some like visual stuff, but uh, we're just going to have to see. After testing in our St. Patrick's Day event, we are adding one hit down snipers so everyone is super excited um, about this uh, bolt action snipers equipped with explosive ammunition will be able to down enemies with one shot kill uh, the mcpr has also had explosive ammunition added to its progression so that's pretty cool i guess some of the snipers didn't exactly have all like uh, the attachments that other ones did so obviously we're getting the fjx imperium the intervention so i'm sure everyone's going to be running around with with that and stuff um obviously it's it's huge right everyone's been complaining at least on the warzone side about like one shot kill snipers which i do agree like short to medium range without a doubt uh snipers should be one shot kill so uh that's pretty exciting and then the thing that i'm most excited for just on the uh kind of warzone front because i think a big reason that warzone and rebirth island and redansk and even caldera towards the end people kind of liked caldera if you ask a lot of people now they'll say that it wasn't that bad but a lot of uh opinions and uh stuff is is formed in hindsight especially in the call of duty community so but movement and traversal i don't really know if i'm saying that. i feel like traversal is a word i just haven't seen it like written out but anyways movement will now feel more dynamic and fluid due to, due in part to improvements to mantling over objects huge w mantling is so clunky it has been since the beta pretty much or through windows um definitely love to see that but the mantling was a big one for me with slight adjustments to sliding and diving responsiveness and the addition of redeployed drones to better enable rotation opportunities so 
I think this might just be Battle Royale and Almazra because, um, you know, we've already had the redeploy drones on Ashika, but we're definitely going to be getting the the movement um, kind of fixes with the mantling and the, through windows and stuff. Hopefully it feels a little less clunky, a little more consistent. Uh, really excited, really, really excited for uh, to jump in on, on Ashika because uh, these updates seem like uh, they're really promising. So the final he thing here we'll cover improvements. Quality of life remains an area of continued focus for the Warzone 2 team. With season three being no exception among the vast array of improvements are the inclusion of elevation arrows on the attack map to help players better locate the objects and the incoming killstreak banner has been raised to sit further from the aiming reticule to offer cleaner sight lines that was one thing that like was really bugging me um like a precision airstrike or enemy uh cluster strike uh like incoming like it it's literally right in the middle of your screen so um i'm glad they're making those small improvements i guess better late than ever so uh just a final kind of note from them we'll be sharing more information on massive resurgence plunder wars on ranked and more in-season content in the coming weeks in the meantime we here at infinity war raven blah 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 are working hard to bring you the best that call of duty has to offer we're all looking forward to the many seasons ahead of us and to you and omazura ashika the gulag multiplayer or wherever else you may be playing this is obviously a little fugaze at the end. I mean, yes, we're getting changes. Are there still changes that need to be made? Yes. Am I happy? Yes. Am I not satisfied with the update? Not so much. I, I mean, we haven't even got to play it yet, but I just think that there's so much other things that need to be changed in it. it uh, it's pretty obvious that Warzone is getting, you know, a lot of eyes on it, a lot of slander towards it. Um, and Warzone is their baby, right? We know that. Uh, we've known it since uh, Verdansk came out in Modern Warfare 19. So nonetheless, guys, pretty excited for uh, for all of this. Um, I think th the one thing I'm most excited for is definitely the movement. Just hopefully it's more consistent. Hopefully there's maybe a little bigger of a skill gap. I don't necessarily want there to be the MW19 slide cancel, but maybe give us the beta movement back. Like best case possible we get the b hop like the b hop was actually so fluid in this game um and it was it was super good because you couldn't slide cancel but you could b hop still and um just taking those like pop out like corner chows um made them really fun but uh just a couple more things guys i wanted to cover before i uh let you guys go uh just some cosmetic items um Here's some of the skins that you can get in the upcoming season. So pretty cool. I'm actually pretty, ex uh, I was going to say excited, not excited. Um, I'm pretty surprised that they haven't gone more all out with the store. Like we're pretty much halfway through this game's life cycle. I don't know if we're going to get um, another game in November like we usually do. Towards the beginning of the year, this was uh, rumored and, and speculative rumors were that this is going to be on a two two year life cycle but um about a month or two ago it was rumored that sledgehammer is working on another game so i don't know if it's and i've said this in previous videos i don't know if it's going to be like how cod 4 remastered was during world war 2 and infinite warfare apologize if you guys uh hear any noise um my crib is kind of right by the road it's a pretty busy road so uh, apologies there but but yeah so so who knows but but yeah i'm just surprised that they haven't done more with the store not that i you know am a huge person on like buying all the cosmetics but uh, it's definitely clear that they're they just want their money um so yeah i guess the skins are pretty cool um and finally just kind of this overview season three tomorrow 10 a.m pacific so i hope you guys enjoyed the video like i said just wanted to uh to bring you those uh those patch notes there from um the warzone and uh shout out charlie intel always uh for keeping everyone updated in the in the cod scene and stuff so uh, if you guys enjoy this video leave a like if you made it this far drop a comment let me know what you're most excited for in season three and um yeah guys happy grinding peace